Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. I wanted to talk about choline really quickly um, and where I get my choline. I get it from this product right here, Nutritonic Ultra. So choline is what you're going to use for your brain. It's very, very important. There's no doubt about it. But you have to eat that from the animal world. Well, I just want to start from the beginning and say there's nothing in the animal world that you can't get from the plant world because your body, like, you know, we just can't synthesize these things. Only animals can do it. No, that's not true. You're, it's, they're just a middleman. Um, you know, everything, I'm, I'm a vegan, you know, and people say, I'm a meat eater. Well, okay, well, we have something in common. I'm a vegan, and all the animals you eat are vegans because they're just eating the, f the, the, the food, uh, you know, the, the, the seeds and the grain and the, the grasses, and then they accumulate that in, in their body, their flesh, and then you eat the flesh. And this idea that you've got to eat uh, animals to be healthy is just nonsense. You don't need that. People just, I think the number one problem with, you know, raw foodists or raw food vegans or whatever they call themselves now, I'm a raw foodist, okay, or I'm a raw food vegan or a raw vegan or whatever. So I'm one of those guys, they just, they change the name all the time. So um, if you're going to, you know, uh, I, I use spirulina and chlorella for my protein. I think that's the biggest problem that a lot of these guys have. They just don't get enough protein. I don't hear them talking about spirulina and chlorella, but choline is what we need for our brains. And you're going to make some in your liver. Um, people say, well, it's not enough. Okay, I love the supplement. I'm going to do a whole video on supplements because they're such a bad thing to a lot of people. So, um, you know, you got to get the choline. That's good. in your brain. You, if you don't get enough choline eventually, yeah, you'll get Alzheimer's. You'll get dementia. You know, you'll stop thinking. My, I'm, I've honestly never been so clear-minded and, you know, in my entire life. Let's just put it that way. I, I have really clear, more clear-minded now than I've ever been. So what I take is, is this product, which is my Nutritonic Ultra, and that's got alpha-GPC, and alpha, it's alpha, and then glycerophosphocholine, that's a big long word, so they just call it GPC. So it's like another one I, that's in here is PS, phosphatidylserine. Okay, so they, they, these are the things that feed the brain, all right? So alpha-GPC is this really the rock star of cholines. So I supplement with this all the time. I start my day every day with this. Now I've got this in capsules and I got it flavored, and but it's things to feed the brain and get yourself woken up, rather than coffee, okay, or caffeine or whatever you're taking, Red Bull or Five Hour Energy or all this kind of garbage. It's just really garbage, really bad for you. So, um, <clears throat> when this is what I take to feed the brain. Now people say, well, you got to use eggs or something like that. And I'll say it again, you don't want to get anything from the animal world. I mean, that's my opinion. It's more highly concentrated in toxins and all that kind of stuff. I mean, if you're going to eat eggs, you better know you're, go get it from a farmer. I wouldn't get the stuff you get in the store. I mean, you know, that, that's another issue altogether. But that's what I'm constantly doing, feeding my brain. And I believe, another thing I take every day is magnesium, magnesium l And that crosses the brain blood bar barrier and you need magnesium in the brain. Everybody has had Alzheimer's and they got autopsies. There's no magnesium. The smart monkey, stupid monkey, they took the you know, autopsy, the both of them. Smart monkey full of magnesium, stupid monkey, no magnesium. So you got to have the magnesium. So I take the magtine every morning when I wake up. Uh, and then I take, um, you know, alpha GPC, okay, phosphatidylserine in here. I also take, there's some amino acids in here, theanine, tyrosine, and carnitine. Those are your brain minerals. Those are the ones you really, amino acids. I said minerals, amino acids that you really need for your brain. And then something called P5P, that's like uh, converted uh, B6, uh, vitamin B6. That's the one that goes, so it's converted, meaning it's ready to go into your brain immediately. If you just put in um, vitamin B6, uh, it takes hours and hours to get into your brain. So there's nothing wrong with it, but it's got to convert inside your body. So this is already ready to be used. And then B5, I take that's in here as well. And that's it. So it's kind of a simple formula, but, I mean, it wakes you up. You can take this throughout the day. Like if you have to study all day, if you ever notice after eight hours um, of just studying when you're in college or maybe, you know, still, you can't think anymore and you're just like, well, I'm brain dead. It's because, you you know, you've used up, um, your brain is like, it's a thunderstorm up there. It's using all your energy, okay? And that's why you're exhausted. You get, well, I haven't moved from the seat. I'm exhausted. You know, you don't get exhausted watching a movie because that's not using the brain waves in, the, in that same way. But when you're concentrating, when you're writing something, uh, when you have to really think hard and do something, that's gamma wave braves, uh, brain waves. You're up here, and they're just sapping the energy right out of you. 
And the main thing is, is that, you know, it's sapping all these cholines from your brain. I mean, you're just using them and then you're not replacing them. So that's what this is all about. And if you sit there all day and sort of kind of every hour or two take a little bit of this, then you'll just uh, go right through the day and you'll feel, you know, you have, a, a, you know, awareness in the brain or awareness in, in your brain will be functioning the way it's supposed to. So that's what I do. That's what choline is. That's what I think you, you should get for choline. Uh, again, um, yeah, you can get choline in eggs. You can get it in a lot of animal foods. Um, but, and as I said, it's made in the liver. So your body can make this idea that we can't make B12. We have to get it from animals. You've got to eat animals. If you want to eat animals, you should eat animals. That's what you should do. I don't, don't just quit telling me that you've got to eat something. You've got to supplement something, meat. You've got to get that or you're going to fall apart. Well, at 66, like I said, I'm doing pretty good uh, and I'm clear thinking, more clear mind in my entire life. That's the truth. I mean, I've really written so many books and I feel so energized to do that. So, and it's one of the main reasons is because I'm getting my choline, alpha GPC, which is the rock star of cholines and uh, something we didn't even have like 10 years ago. They kind of, you know, put this together and, and figured out how to make it the right way. It's, it, it turns into all these acetylcholines. Let's not get technical because, you know, I'm not telling you, I understand it all. You know, all you, all you got to do is eat raw fruits and vegetables. Your body knows what to do with them. And all you have to do is feed your brain the right things, and your brain knows what to do with that stuff. So that's how I do it. That's how I stay focused. And I just wanted to make a video about choline and why you don't need to get that really from the animal world, unless that's what you want to do. Um, but, you know, it's alpha-GPC and phosphatidylserine. Those are the cholines uh, that you are going to really need to focus and concentrate every single day. Dr. Bob, see you next time.